I do have to ask you about the Arab Spring and what's going on there. Uh, there's a lot of concern by women who were involved in revolutionary efforts over there. I think of particularly women I know in Egypt who are concerned about where things are heading. Where do you see things heading in that part of the world for women? Well, I think that uh, it, it is not clear yet um, where things are heading for anybody, but I am particularly focused on uh, where they're heading for women. And I, you know, I spoke about this a few days ago in Washington. You know, we support uh, the aspirations of uh, people, men and women, in uh, the Middle East and North Africa uh, for fundamental human freedoms, human rights, uh, including economic rights. Uh, and so we, we think that is uh, the right side of history. But the particulars, how this is going to play out, is uh, you know, not yet known. And it could be that there'll be some very rocky times over the next uh, years. But speaking you know, as the Secretary of State of the United States, uh, certainly we're going to continue to strongly advocate uh, that you cannot be a democracy if you don't fully enfranchise all of your uh, people, and that means you know, half the population of women. And we're going to hold up, both publicly and privately, um, any actions that we think are undermining the rights of women. So we've had quite a few uh, discussions and expressions of concern uh, on a number of fronts. But you know, it's too soon to tell. And all of, all of uh, what's happening uh, in the Middle East and North Africa is still so new. You know, a lot of the people who helped to spark and lead uh, the revolutions, and it did include women in Tahrir Square or in Tunis or in Libya or wherever else, they've never participated in a political process. They've never been really acquainted with political parties or uh, a lot of the freedoms that we think are necessary to support a democracy. So I think this is going to, again, uh, take some time and, and we are going to watch it closely. Again, how worried are you? I'm, you know, uh, in terms of women in particular. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm suspending judgment right now because I think we don't have enough evidence uh, to really draw a conclusion. Uh, because for every statement that's made, uh, there's a woman elected, which happened in, in Tunisia, a number of women. So I, I don't think we ought to be jumping to conclusions. I think we ought to understand that sorting this out after years of repression, after um, autocratic rule that really undermined and destroyed institutions uh, is a very challenging task. And we want to be supportive of those who are pursuing uh, democratic reform, who have eschewed violence, that they are uh, going to, uh, in a sense, play by the rules of what it means to run for office. And um, if you win, you win. If you don't win, you go into uh, you know, the opposition or back to uh, being a, a citizen. That, that takes time for people to really understand and adjust to.